First time recording in a shirt. I think so. Huh? Hey guys, what's up? This is Shreyas back to you with another video. Now I'm sure you've been hearing about alternatives to WhatsApp since they brought out that privacy policy update, especially in India. A lot of outrage, not that people uh, really switched out or it made a huge difference because people are just reluctant to learn or adopt new things which is kind of understandable but yeah i'm not talking about the standard alternatives which are told to you in almost every video like signal and telegram not that they are not they are great alternatives in their own way but i'm talking about one which is accessible to your phone and probably is already existing in your phone and you are not aware of it or not using it for some reason and I'm talking about RCS. Now, what is RCS? How is it used? Where is, where can you find it, etc.? I'll be answering in this particular video. Now, if you by chance like the topic of the video, why don't you drop a like, hit subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you know when I bring you guys such type of videos as well. With that said, this is Shreyas and let's tech that out. Cool. Now, the first question is, what is RCS? Now, RCS basically stands for Rich Communication Service. This is basically a very simple protocol, which is universally accepted. It's similar to how SMS and MMS is or exists. This is just a protocol which any app using it has to adopt to and accept and it is universally accepted. Now, what can you do via RCS? Everything that happens over SMS and MMS can be done well and better but using your data connection instead of your cellular connection to send these messages or meet multimedia now in mms multimedia gets extremely compressed because of the protocol it uses and since it uses cellular connection instead of data connection but here your data or wi-fi will be used for sending over these messages there'll be hardly any compression even less than what you see on whatsapp while sending messages to be very honest and if you don't understand what I just explained right now, it's basically iMessage for Android. Now, all those iPhone and iPad users who know about iMessage would understand what I'm talking about. Basically, you can uh, communicate with people having various Apple products via this mess messaging service called iMessage, where you can send text, multimedia, voice chats, GIFs, stickers, memojis, etc. RCS does the exact same thing, but on the Android side of things. Now these are kind of the small things which are, which make it superior to SMS, MMS. Now you'll be thinking I can do the same via telegram signal and yes, you're right. 95% of the things you can do on telegram or signal and exactly what WhatsApp does in a way. But this protocol actually exists on your phone most probably and is very easily accessible. Now according to a 2020 survey, apparently 95% of smartphone users use Android as an operating system. So that's why it's more relevant according to me and most probably your friends or family will be using an Android smartphone in some form or the other and they can have access to RCS. Now the question is, where can you find RCS? RCS has been made publicly available thanks to Google and where you can find it is in the Google Messages app. Now, most of the Android phones launching from somewhere around 2020 and till now as well has Google Messages as the default messaging app. Now, as a messaging app, it's not the greatest. I know that. But here is where you can find RCS. Now, how do you find out if your carrier and your phone supports RCS? Now, you have to go into the settings and see something called as chat features. Now, if it says that it's unable to contact and it's not provided for your phone, you're out of luck and you probably have to wait or contact to your carrier and know if RCS will be enabled anytime soon. Now, I personally use an Airtel phone with a OnePlus 8 Pro and I know personally for multiple people across multiple devices, even, you know, budget devices, are getting RCS activated in on multiple SIM cards. So I believe Jio and Airtel should not have any problem. I'm not sure about Vodafone idea right now, but that's something you should definitely check out. Cool, now you enabled RCS. Now what's the big deal? Now if the person you're messaging is also having RCS and has the same thing enabled, it's very easy. It basically works like WhatsApp. Now the good part about this is that let's say you do not have cellular connectivity, data or Wi-Fi. In that case, this will send these messages in plain SMS and MMS form only. Now when you do have access to internet in any form, 
you will get or send RCS messages. Now, this is the flexibility which other apps do not have. If you do not have internet, you simply cannot send a WhatsApp message, you cannot send a Telegram or a Signal message. Few other features of RCS is like just like WhatsApp, Telegram, etc. You can see the other person typing when you both uh, have internet connection. You can see the images pop up in real time. You don't have to save them in your gallery. To be honest, GIFs are really great. You can send addresses and stuff which will automatically get tagged into Google Maps which already does for Android 10 and above but still uh, you also have a neat feature of having a notification alert for every chat you do not take uh, after an hour. So these are some neat features of RCS baked into Google messages so you should definitely try it out. One more feature I forgot to mention is that actually you can use Google messages on multiple devices correction not on multiple devices but on two devices simultaneously basically a pc or a mac and an android smartphone on which you are registered now you can't use it like telegram on multiple devices because it is end-to-end -end encrypted and it is specific to your device but you can emulate it just like whatsapp web and use it on your windows pc or a mac os pc and you know get the access of the whole thing on your particular laptop or computer now the other thing is that attachments finding and stuff like that is very good and you have some google assistant features baked in as well which is great me being an active google assistant adopter i have no problems and it's a great addition for me to be honest now it's just not that okay there are some other concerns around rcs etc as well because the main problem with whatsapp was around its encryption or the data they are going to use now rcs is based on a service called as jive which google acquired a few years ago and they provide this RCS service to you. Now, as of now, end-to-end -end encryption does exist in a form. Now, a certain protocol of this encryption is yet to be rolled out and is in beta state. The UI is actually a bit lacking behind. It's not as good as, you know, something like WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, or the other established instant messaging services. Now, this is something I think will take time and should develop unless Google plans to drop it for some reason and your carrier being able to support it and your phone supporting it as well is a question mark, but it is supported technically anything on above Android 5.0 or even on Wear OS to be honest. So, but when you have that flexibility of sending a message to someone with or without internet connection, I feel that this is the way to go. And since this application actually exists in most people's phone already, you can actually try activate it and try it out yourself. I'm telling you one thing personally, if you do get RCS working and your close friends are using RCS as well and you get used to it, it's very tough to get out of it. You won't really think that WhatsApp or something is necessary. So that's it about RCS. And if you have an android phone why don't you just try it out the link of google messages will be down below i hope you enjoyed it and like this particular topic let me know down in the comments below that you have if you have tried rcs or not and if you think that it's a viable alternative to whatsapp down the road so anyway that's been it this is shreyas and i'll catch you guys in the next video